Hi guys, so our next quiz is going to be about adaptations and mutations. An adaptation is an inherited trait that helps an organism survive in its environment. Um, so for example, I've got a bunch of examples from the bio box. So raptors like hawks and uh, ravens and bald eagles and stuff have really sharp curved talons that help them to capture their prey. So they're able to get food because of these talons and then that helps them survive, right? Um, also, raptors have really curved sharp beaks like this one, for example, you can see it's really curved and sharp, so they're able to tear through the flesh of their prey, and then they're able to eat, uh, and that helps them survive, right? Uh, camels have a good adaptation for the desert. Not only do they store fat, but they have really wide feet with a lot of surface area, kind of like snowshoes are really wide, so it stops you from sinking into the snow. A camel's foot is really wide, so they, it stops them from sinking into the sand. That's an adaptation. Um, whales have baleen. This is just a piece of baleen from a whale, um, but you can see it's got like these little bristly things. So a whale in its mouth has a whole bunch of baleen, a whole bunch of bristles, kind of like on a broom, so that when they take in water, the baleen traps the plankton, which are tiny animals and plants, uh, and they get trapped in this baleen so that the whale can eat them. So that helps the whale survive because they're able to get some food. Um, animals have different types of fur. So here we've got this animal that this fur came from probably lives in uh, the tundra or somewhere that's really cold and snowy and icy. So this thick fur is able to keep it warm and it's white so it's able to blend into the environment around it, right? Another example is camouflage. Here is a stick bug. You can see it's really well camouflaged. It blends in really well to like sticks. It just looks like a stick, right? So it, that helps it to survive. Lots of organisms use camouflage so they don't get eaten by predators. So an adaptation, uh, an animal can't just decide, oh, or a bug can't decide, oh, I need to look like a stick so that I blend in and then just change itself, right? Chameleons can change the way they look, but most animals and plants have to be born with a certain adaptation. So it's an inherited trait that they're born with, okay? Adaptations, they help organisms survive. The way that traits come about is you've got DNA. DNA is in the nucleus of all of your cells, right? So DNA is the instructions uh, for how the cell is to function, how it makes proteins and stuff, right? But the DNA is trapped in the nucleus. It's safe in the nucleus and it can't leave. So your cell makes a copy of the DNA, which we call RNA. If you remember our mutated proteins lab, where we made proteins with uh, pipe cleaners and beads, we did this, right? We went to the nucleus, you made a copy of the DNA, that's the RNA. The RNA is allowed to leave the nucleus. It goes to the ribosome, which in the lab was your table. Your table was the ribosome. Ribosomes build proteins, um, so they use the instructions in the RNA and build the protein, which in our lab was the pipe cleaner with the beads on it, right? Uh, so here's what you need to know for your quiz. You need to know DNA, and then RNA is the copy, and then the RNA goes to the ribosome, the ribosome builds the protein with the RNA's instructions. So DNA, and then RNA, and then a protein is built from those instructions, okay? Um, sometimes there's a, mu there's a mistake. We call that a mutation. There's a mistake in the DNA, or sometimes there's a mistake in the RNA if it gets copied down wrong, and that causes the protein to not be built right. Um, some cool examples of mutations are like lactase. Lactase is an enzyme that helps your body break down milk. So it used to be that babies had lactase because babies were living off of milk, right? And then once you grew up and started eating regular food, your body stopped producing lactase and then you couldn't, you were lactose intolerant. You couldn't drink milk anymore because your body couldn't break it down anymore. Well, there were people in Europe who had a mutation in their DNA, a change in their DNA, that made it so they kept making lactase even after they were not babies anymore. They were able to keep digesting milk, and that has spread because it was good for people to drink milk, right? So that mutation helped them survive better, and then they passed it on to their kids, and it spread throughout a lot of people in Europe and a lot of people in the United States today, right? So we still drink milk, a lot of us, because a lot of us have that mutation mutation 
where our bodies keep producing lactase. Um, another example of a mutation, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but when I put my thumb and my pinky together, oh, you really can't see that. I have like, oh, there we go. I have these tendons here that kind of stick out. Some people have a mutation where they literally don't have these tendons here. That's a mutation. You can survive okay without those tendons. You're fine. That would be good for like going on the monkey bars or climbing trees or something. But some people have a mutation so they don't have these tendons here, right? So that's another example of a mutation. There's three possible effects of mutations. They could be beneficial, like the lactase one. If you still have lactase and you can still drink milk as an adult, that's good because you get more nutrients, right? Um, so that's a beneficial one. They could be harmful. There are some mutations that make it so that the protein doesn't work right and then you don't have the adaptation you should have, right? Or they could be neutral like this one, uh, it's kind of neutral. It doesn't really matter if you don't have this tendon. It doesn't really affect your life that much, right? So mutations, they're a change in the DNA. They can be harmful, beneficial, or neutral, okay? Uh, please ask me if you have any more questions. I hope that was helpful, and good luck on the quiz.